Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a nested pie chart like this one or a pie on pie chart in Microsoft Excel. What we have here is two sets of data. So on the inside we have the data arranged by product launch date. So these are the total sales for the products that were on different launch dates. And within those launch dates, we have different products. So here are our product types. And so we're seeing two lots of data on the same chart. It's an interesting chart to create. It's quite a lot of fun. So let's go and do just that. So I'm going to start right from the very beginning. So to get started, we're going to select over our data and we're going for the inside data first. If you make a mistake, you can reverse that, but it helps if you get it right the first time. So we're going to select over our data, we're going to insert and we're going to choose a donut chart. Now I do want a chart title, but I don't want a legend, so I'm going to get rid of the legend. I'm going to select over the chart data here and I'm going to right click and choose format data series. Now on this option here, we're going to be able to adjust the donut whole size and we're going to bring that down to zero because this is going to fill in the middle of our chart. We're also going to the fill options and I'm going to change the fill on these because I don't particularly like the fill. So I'm selecting each data point in turn. So you can see that it's gone from a series format to a data point format and I'm just going to choose a different color for this. So I'm going to start with this darker orange and over here I'm going to choose a green. So these are going to be the starting colors for my chart. Might also make my chart a little bit bigger before we progress too far. To make this a bit smaller relative to the chart area I'm going to select the format options here so when you have a chart created you have chart design and format and over here in the format area we could actually choose the plot area and the plot area is the bit that is the chart plot so if you grab that you'll be able to size it and move it leaving the rest of the chart area to the size that it was originally. We're going to need a little bit of extra space in a minute. To add our second set of data we're going to select over our plot here and we're going to chart design and we're going to select data. We have an option here to add some more data. So we're going to click here on add and if you're going to make a mistake this is where you're going to make it. You're going to be putting your data in series name rather than where it should be which is in series values. So I'm going to delete the value or the entry that is in here and I'm going to put in my own series which is this data here and I'll just click OK and then OK again and you should have a chart that looks like this. Now if you get them round the wrong way so that the multiples are on the inside and the fewer values are on the outside you'll just go to select data and you can just flip these so you'll move series one down because series one is the one on the inside and series two is the one on the outside so you can reverse them if you need to. Now we're going to look at the colors here I'm going to select this piece here you can see that if I select the middle of the chart I select all three pieces and then I can select individual pieces within that. What we're doing is the same on the outside of the chart. We're selecting a whole thing then we're clicking again to select just this blue piece. And over here in format data point I'm going to choose a lighter blue. And then this one's going to be lighter again. And I'm going to choose a lighter orange. And a lighter orange again. And I'm just moving around the shape. So this is going to be the darker of the three greens and then the next lighter and then the very lightest of the greens. So that just gives us an attractive looking chart. But we need some data points in here so we need to know what we're talking about. I'm going to select here on the inside area of the chart. I'm going to the plus sign here and we're going to add some data labels. So I'm going to click here and choose more options. So I want to be able to see what my options are. We'll come across here to label options. Make sure that you open these elements up if they're collapsed. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the values for this from cells. So I'm just going to click on value from cells and I'm going to select these cells because these have the values I want to appear in the middle. Now I find it easier to add these and then turn off the bits that I don't want rather than just removing everything because it tends to be a bit 
badly behave when you do that. So with these still selected, I'm going across to the Home tab. I'm going to increase the font size. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to make it white. So these are going to really stand out in the middle. So these are the items that were launched in 2022, these 2020 and these 2021. So we're going to select now on the outer area and we're going to do the same thing. Again, plus sign. These don't have data labels. We're going to select it and we're going to more options and we're going to put data labels in here. So I click over here and again, I want to get my values from cells. So I'll click on value from cells. I'm going to go and grab my product names and I'll just click OK. Again, I've added more than I want. I don't actually want the sales numbers right now. I just want the product names. So I'm going to turn off the bits I don't want. If you want these product names to look a little bit neater, you can move them around, but you will find that they tend to jump into really peculiar places. So if they do that, what I suggest you do is just set it back to center because that seems to be more reliable and then just go and click on the ones that you want to move. Now, if you use show leader lines, if they're moved outside the area of the chart, you'll get a leader line into them. So I find that a nice handy sort of option. So you can move these around, particularly if they're a little bit longer than the cell. So you can move them into position to make them a little bit more readable. You can also, with these data labels selected, let me just click away and let me go and reselect all of the data labels. We can come across here to the Home tab of the ribbon and increase the font size. So we can make them easier to read, for example. Now I'm going to finish off with a chart title because my chart title is in this cell here. I'm going to click on the chart title up here in the formula bar. I'm going to press an equal sign and I'm just going to click on the cell that contains the data for my chart title and I'm just going to press enter. So that's how you get a nice little nested chart like this. There are other options, of course, that you can use. You just need to be aware of the sort of basics of putting it together. And from there, you should be able to format it the way you want it to look. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.